Welcome again, I'm Marek Mulacek and in this video I want to talk to you about the new neural filters in Photoshop CC 2021 and then there has been some improvements to it now in this new May update as well. Okay, So we have this image here, a portrait as an example, because many of the features within neural filters are about uh, people's faces. We can make them look younger, older, smile, be angry, and so on. Okay, so let's have a look and how it is done. So I've got this image open here. And if you go to the filter menu, right towards the top, you've got neural filters. This will open neural filters, a uh, workspace. Uh, many of these neural filters will work in the cloud, so it will take a bit longer to process them. Okay, so let's start the skins moving here. Uh, if you open it for the first time, you get this download button on the right hand side. So you just click on the down on the cloud button to download it and you can start using it. So I've enabled skin smoothing and let's go to extreme so you can see the difference better. So let's move it more and blur it as well. It's processing data in the cloud, so it may take a moment. And now her skin is much smoother. If we enable this before and after here, this was before, this is after. So quite a bit of a difference, okay? That's before, that's after. Of course, we can just go the opposite as well, but typically with skin smoothing, you want to smooth it, okay? Now, this is another one I want to show you here, is the Smart Portrait, which has loads of options in here. So if I just enable it, there's lots of things you can do in here. For example, we can make her happy, be happy. So let's take it to maximum. Let's give it a moment to process, and in just a moment she should be smiling at us <laughs> in here. Here we go. So maybe it may not be the best, but she is smiling. She does seem to be more happy, right? Okay. We could also make her less happy, so we could take it to all the way to the left. I'm using extremes here just so you can see better uh, the differences, especially when you're watching the video in here. So making her less happy. Again, this is our before and this is after. She definitely does look less happy, <laughs> okay? I think I prefer her to be happy, so let's go to... Actually, let's keep happy on zero for now, because I want to show you some other things as well. Or let's say one, for example. I'll just disable it. We've got a surprise here as well. We can make her look more surprised. So I'll give it a moment to process. Okay, so sh her eyebrow has lifted here. Okay. Let's take this back to zero here. And let's have a look at the anger. So she's going to look, <coughs> excuse me, more angry. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's disable that. Now we've got facial age. So we can make her look older. And this usually works really, really well. It's, as you can see towards the bottom, it's retaining the unique details in the face. So this actually does look quite interesting. I think this is really, really interesting. And of course we can make her younger as well. This won't do a lot because she's quite young, <laughs> but it does make her a little bit younger. So if we look at before and after, you'll be able to see the difference as before and after. There's a lot of change in her hair, the amount of hair especially, but also her face. So Photoshop seems to soften her skin. Remember we, in here as well, okay? You can also adjust her hair thickness, so we can make it thicker or thinner, for example, in here. So we'll keep the facial edge and her thickness. So this is before and after. So she looks younger and her hair has more volume to it as well. You can also adjust the head direction. 
So if we go to extreme again, as usual, we can change her, her head direction a little bit in here. So she will be looking, not in the camera, but slightly sideways. And again, this looks very good, ex except for this bit in here, but this can easily be retouched later on back in Photoshop. And we can go in the other direction. Let's see if it does a better job in this direction here, when she's going to look to our left instead of our right for a change. Okay, yeah, so that's actually quite interesting here. You can also change the light direction. So you could have a light coming in from the right, or we could have the light coming in from the left. Looking at her face, there's a light coming in here from the right hand side. Okay. So there's lots of options in here you can choose from. These are all beta at the moment uh, when I'm recording it. This may move on to the future by the time you're watching it. Okay. And I'm just going to click OK just to show you how this is going to make a new layer. Okay. Perfect. We don't want to duplicate a layer. Okay. So we'll click OK. And this is going to give us a new layer in here, the layer zero. So if we don't like it, we can always just disable it, turn it, turn it off, and we back to the original here. <coughs> then just do a little bit of retouching on the background here with healing brush or spot healing brush, just to touch up on the background. Okay, so this is the new, well, new improved neural filters in Photoshop CC 2021 May update, especially. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun, play with it, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.